Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you how to um, export citations and how to create note cards uh, for your research paper. So just a reminder that for this research paper, you folks are required to use two sources. One is the overview essay that we found in the database, and two is a view viewpoint article on your topic, which will also come from the database. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log back into um, Noodle Tools. Um, if you're logging back in, you're going to want to click on that project that you started last time, and that will lead you to your dashboard. The dashboard, remember, has that link to uh, the research guide that has the link to the opposing viewpoints guide, uh, database rather. And so we're going to we're going to find ourselves back here. I'm going to click on the issue page so I can travel back to my topic, which was cyberbullying. And regardless of what topic you chose, at the very top of each of your topic pages, you are going to find the overview article. This is a requirement, so we want to make sure that we um, get this citation into Noodle Tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Read More, and just to get it out of the way, I'm going to cite this immediately. So at the very top, I see the Cite button. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on Export to Noodle Tools. A pop-up window will show up, and I need to click Import References. Once this green bar goes across the screen, that means that I've done it successfully. If this pop-up window does not pop up for you, you need to Google um, how to disable your pop-up blocker, uh, which would matter. It would matter if you were using Chrome or Firefox. You just Google how to unblock pop-ups in Chrome and follow those directions. Once you do that, you would go through these steps again. But anyway, this green bar across the screen means that it's in my noodle tools. So uh, I'm going to X out of that and I'm going to make sure that it has happened by clicking on my sources tab. And I can see here that my overview essay has been exported. So what I need to do now is I need to actually read through my overview essay. And as I'm reading, I may come across some interesting statistics that I might want to use in my research. Or perhaps, like, I mean, this is pretty significant here. For So I'm going to use this as an example, that girls report significantly higher rates of victimization than boys. And it goes on to tell me some statistics. I'm going to copy this, right? And what I want to do is I want to put them, I want to write them on my note card. So here's my citation to create a note card. I click here, new note cards, and it's going to give me a note card. I'm going to title this overview and I'm going to paste that direct quote in that box. I'm even going to put some quotation marks around it so that later when I write, I remember that because it's a direct quote, it has direct uh, it has quotation marks around it. So as I'm reading through my article, right, I invite you to go ahead and copy key points of information into your note cards. You might even want to do like a some split screen action where you're reading and you have the note card open on another um, in another window. Okay, and after you've gathered at least two quotes, right, and they should be pretty good quotes that are going to be useful to you later. What I also invite you to do is in this box here, in my ideas, start writing down your own opinion of your what you just read or your own opinion of the topic in general. Okay, um, and then that's it. We are asking you to at least gather two quotes from the overview essay. And then I'm going to save and close that. If you need to go back to that uh, note card, you're going to, again, make sure, OK, this is my overview essay. You can click Show. And at the bottom here, you can see it. And you would click Options Edit. This is how you would edit your note card um, if you needed to. But for now, I'm going to save and close. OK, so I have my overview essay and my note card for my overview essay citation. Now I need to go and find a viewpoint on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my topic page. And I'm going to look through some viewpoints here. 
or I can look down at some statistics that might be useful to me, some audio, you can listen to some podcasts, you can, I invite you to really look through everything, okay? Um, but let's say I'm going to look at my viewpoints here and what we are asking you to do as far as the viewpoint is um, if you find an opposing viewpoint, so if you were to find something that says, um, like let's say my viewpoint is that cyberbullying is bad and it has some detrimental effects on teenagers, right? It's going to be kind of hard for me to find an article that says cyberbullying is good. But I might, as I'm looking through my results, I might find um, something that says the opposite in one of these articles. Or I might find um, a different perspective on it, right? Um, like this one, cyberbullying is serious, but not an, uh, not an, academ uh, not an epidemic. Or the cyberbullying problem is overhyped. That would be considered an, over, uh, an opposing viewpoint. But um, maybe I'm interested in how schools get involved with cyberbullying. So I also invite you to look up some things this way, right? To use some keywords, cyberbullying and schools. And that might generate some viewpoints that might be a little more in tune with what I want to talk about. So here I see that school cyberbullying policies are not needed or that schools should enact cyberbullying policies. These might be good for me to explore. So I'm going to go here. Actually, I'm going to go here with si cuz this is this opposes my viewpoint. Okay. And then I'm going to again read through this, right? I need to cite it. So I'm going to do this again. Make sure it's an MLA. I'm going to click Noodle Tools, import it. That green bar goes across the screen. In Noodle Tools, um if I were to refresh my sources page, I will see that now I have two sources. So this was my overview one, and now this is the one that I just exported. I'm going to create a new note card, and I'm going to name it something relevant, schools and cyberbullying, right? And then I'm going to, um, as I'm reading this article, again, pick out key points of information that is going to be useful for me when I am writing my paper. Okay. And I mean, I'm just going to do this for the sake of the example. Um, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to use this as an example of some key point of information I'm going to include. And I'm going to paste that into my quote, my direct quotation box. Again, you need at least two quotes. Okay. Um, then again, if you have some thoughts around it, I invite you to write those thoughts into my ideas, and then you're gonna save and close. The more effort you pour into these note cards, the easier it's gonna be for you to write your um, essay later. Okay, so again, at the end of the day, what we would like from you in Noodle Tools on this sources page are your two citations, one is your overview, one is a viewpoint, and then a note card for each citation. So you can see I have one here for this one and one here for that one. In each note card, what we want to see is two quotes. So I only have one here, so I would need to add another one. And, um, and that's actually it for now. If you have some ideas around it, we invite you to write that in there. But again, we're asking just for two, quote, two quotes in each note card. Okay, um, in your next class, what I believe you're going to do is paraphrase. So what we might do is um, you're going to click on show the note card and edit the note card. And what you're going to receive further instruction on is how to paraphrase the quotations that you brought out, that you picked out from the articles. So again, just for today, we want to see two quotes in each note card. Next class, they're going to ask you to paraphrase, and that paraphrasing should happen in this box. So stay tuned for next class. Um, if you run into any problems, please email me. Or if you're having trouble finding um, something on your topic, 
uh, go ahead and email me or Mr. Castillo here, and we will surely help you figure that out. Until next time, happy researching.